Hey everyone and welcome back to part 16 of our Norselands playthrough. Last time we cleared out the fourth island and so our next target is the first and second islands. So we still need to build the boat, which we clearly have far too many coins for. I think it's on the right hand side of the kingdom though, so we need to head over there. Obviously we don't have to worry about any greed coming and attacking us anymore. And there it is. So, um, I don't know what day are we on? 30. Oh, that's a bit weird. It's not showing the coins going up there. Ghost coins. Um, yeah, I don't think we're close enough to winter to be able to show off the other ability that this uh, water horse has. So at the moment it just sends out waves that um, push back enemies like the griffin's uh, flap of its wings but in winter the water horse actually turns into an ice horse which is pretty cool um, but what that means is that those waves also turn to ice and they act like walls that you'll also see from the golem mount in the deadlands campaign so again you can have up to three of them active at once i believe and they will just take shots off of greed and uh, spare your walls. Now I would like to have a little play around with the mechanics of them but we may end up clearing all the portals before we get to winter. So that's something I can do another time as I'll probably want to do it for whatever video I make for all the mounts and whatnot in this uh, DLC. Yes, yes, I'm sure you're going to tell me to go and put coins in with the banker. Let's just check how delusional this ghost is. Yep. Completely is the answer. Just going to check if we have... Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit annoying we don't have like the extra um, the extra armies we're just gonna have a couple on the right hand side uh, and not the additional one that we'd usually take through That may mean that at some point on the first or second island we'll have to spend some time just getting together another army or two, but uh, that shouldn't slow us down too much. Looks a little blood moony, but obviously that's not something we have to worry about. So we've at least got two armies to join. Um, I guess we could get a uh, another person, but there's no shielded archers to go with him, which is sort of pointless or it makes it a bit pointless and I can't be bothered to expand out pools just to get another one so I think I'm, I'm gonna swap back to sleep near just because it's a quick amount for getting about and we're always going to be able to build the stable if we do want to get the water horse back Okay, I guess it was a blood moon because it's playing all the music and stuff for it. So that is interesting. I don't know if I've ever stuck around on an island after it's cleared to see whether or not there's a blood moon. But uh, now we know. 
just want to try and grab a few more coins if possible. Ooh, didn't really need to do that. could theoretically build our wall all the way out there, but again, just a bit of a waste of time. We've got portals to destroy. Okay everyone, let's go. Can't forget our hermits. We're going to go for the first island first, I don't know if I've said this before, but it's just going to be a little bit easier because we can um, we can build the boat without having to spend any extra money, which is going to be very useful. Good to see that all of our defences are still intact here. We haven't been gone too long, so we should be able to get that uh, additional army quite quickly. Okay, cool, we do have everything we need. Let's see about uh, recruitment. I can't remember. We'll get a little bit more stamina first. Want to try and get uh, another couple people at least. There we go. And I think that's pretty much the end portal. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, have we got any of the Huskars heading to this side of the kingdom, or have they all just stayed on the left? Okay, no, they both look as though they're going to head that way, which is interesting. We are fully upgraded as well, so um, let's get an additional builder and um, build the bomb. Okay, so that's only one of those armies coming with me. But fortunately, we should have all the coins we need to get another army built up. Let's see if this guy's going to come and grab that. Very nice. We'll get him another upgrade over here. I can't believe I just walked past that camp. That was I needed more people and they were right there. these guys to the right position. I'm going to leave them for a little bit because I want to go and get a few more coins just to be sure we've got enough. Ah, merchant should give us plenty.
Okay, that's good enough. Let's go and destroy a portal. And again, we will be able to slightly speed ourselves up because we can just like dump portals along the way. Need to be that side of it for them to use it, presumably. Very useful mechanic. Yeah, that probably cut like an extra maybe 30 seconds or a minute off of the walk to the portal, which is quite a lot. For some reason I was really disorientated then, because I was expecting to be going left, even though we obviously went into a portal on the right hand side of the kingdom. I'm definitely paying attention. been a long campaign. Just in case that helps them get out, which, I mean, they all stayed alive, which is more than they did in the last portal. Was there a random greedling that appeared as the portal was exploding then? I'll have a look when I'm editing. Won't really be able to say anything, it looked like it for a, for a moment, but maybe I'm just being crazy. Okay, let's get everyone back to the kingdom. Need to start building that boat. Don't think we really need to recruit anyone extra. Should have everything we need. Just need to build that boat, pick up all the coins we can, and that should be it. We'll maybe need to get a few builders actually, because those have been destroyed. He should go straight through that. Nice.
I think we can just wait until the boat's built and then summon everyone to get on it. Are you too good for the portal? I was going to see whether or not the merchant uses it. So that would just be an interesting interaction. Oh yeah, he does. That could be a good way of getting him into your walls a bit quicker. Strangely, it uh, makes the effect on the other side of the portal though. Maybe that's just how he's sort of layered to be the next layer back on the terrain. We got anything on this island we haven't picked up and desperately want? We could go and get that hermit. Was that all the way on the right hand side I want to say? Should, well, even if it does take us 30, 40 minutes to destroy the final cliff portal, um, it's not the end of the world. It seems like this is probably going to be the last episode of this campaign. So we might as well go and grab a horn hermit and try him out. I mean, I expect it will work in exactly the same way as it used to. Just here. There we go. Ah, that's only one. Very nice. Gotta say, my horn's better than his. some jealousy that occurs between the two of us I mean it's obvious that he's going to be jealous of my horn but we're not going to say that out loud it would just be a little bit rude that for the sake of it and we might as well build a bunch of shields sort of just want to wait for this wall to be built then use it to summon people from the other side and then call everyone onto the boat i know it's going to take a little bit longer but it's just so we can show what the uh, horn hermit actually does so there you have it blow the horn once and oh i don't know if it will reset because of it being daytime get that launched So that actually prompted them to all hide behind the wall again. And we should see everyone coming from the right hand side. Oh yeah, so you can see them there and we can sort of speed that up a little bit. So it's good to know that it works exactly like it used to. Do 
too many coins. This should mean that it's quicker to get everyone onto the boat. a couple of archers um, we just set up some portals because I assume we need uh, to recruit some extra ones we did have some people lying around our base so that should be fine need to graze towards the boat or am I going to have to re-ring the bell? I think it's going to be the latter. Hmm, maybe not. That's good to know. Get on here. Have you got a friend coming? Yes, you do. <sighs> Didn't anticipate him stopping to give me a coin, so thought he was going to get on the boat before I finished. Didn't want to risk it. I know it's only one archer, but he's very important to us. Didn't want to leave him on the docks feeling a little bit sad. Now the end is in sight. See what sides they go to. Okay, so two have stayed at that side, but we uh, did the archers. We bring with us, have some shields, it looks like it. I was hoping some of those archers would go and join. They don't seem too bothered by that. Just sort of uh, probably build what I can. Um, I think we'll just wait out this one night attack because we want to get a few more coins. No need to build any of that. You don't need coins. You're not even not even on our correct side. It does potentially look like more than five, but it might just be 
exactly five archers with this army, I mean. Hmm. A little dubious. Interesting to see the merchant do so many runs. I don't know if he can go back and forth quite a few times. Yes, it's a night attack. Maybe our last one. Let's make it dramatic. Let's have all the walls break and we'll lose our crown. Have to go through a whole ordeal just to get back here. Oh, they are blitzing that wall a bit. How are we doing on this side? Oh, yeah. Everything's fine. Okay, there's the portal, so should be fine to build one there and the other one a little bit further along. Let's not risk it and go for about there. Oh, we have a coin chest there. Handy. Yeah, that's definitely more than one set of archers. How many coins do we have? Not full. So let's see if we can top up either one of those or just give them a few for now. Wasting a coin like that. portal that one. Probably actually a bit of a detriment.
So we don't have notifications on, which is why the achievement didn't pop up, but my phone did get a notification to tell me that we just unlocked the achievement for clearing all the lands, and, well, the credits are the extra bit of proof. Hmm. A little bit jarring that the regular game music seems to be playing at the same time as the credits music. Doesn't seem as though we can skip that. So, uh, I will skip over it in the editing. Or maybe I'll just leave the credits running. Why not? I did it last time. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed all of the wonderful names of the people that went to create this pretty damn spectacular game. But that is it for this time. I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. I'll probably take a little break before doing any other playthroughs. So if you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.